Welcome to Liagang in Austria and to the third cross-country World Cup of the season. The riders are seconds away from going in what could be one of the most physical tracks we've seen in the short track so far. If you thought things were going to be a little bit more gentle now, Olympic qualification was largely done and dusted. Well, you are totally wrong because these girls have their minds on one thing and one thing only, and that is overall points and, fingers crossed, winning World Cups. And we're underway. It was local Austrian Lara Stieger who took the initiative on the opening lap. Her power and climbing ability propelled her from her starting position of 20th to first in the opening climb. The field began to spread out. Teammates Sina Fry and Stieger used up some valuable energy in their tussle on lap one as they went head to head and gave young French star Loan Lecomte an opportunity on lap two to attack. Lecomte's right there with her. Lecomte yet to win a short track. Lecomte's aggression and pace eventually rewarded her with an 11 second lead by the end of lap three. And it seemed as though the rest of the field would be battling for second. World champion Pauline ferrand prevot Australian Rebecca McConnell and Swiss Yolanda Neff took on the challenge as they chopped and changed place throughout laps four and five. But Yolanda Neff broke through McConnell's defences with one lap to go. Oh, Neff looking like she's going around the outside of Rebecca McConnell now. The Australian wasn't giving up, proving too powerful on the final climb and stormed back into second with the leader now in her sights. And now McConnell out of the saddle, attacking hard. What's Lecomte got left? However, Lecomte's lead was just too much for McConnell to master and the 21-year-old French rider crossed the line for her first short track win with a huge grin on her face. Rebecca McConnell's brilliant effort was rewarded with a second, and Yolanda Neff rounded out the top three. When I see the, the track, I said, well, oh my God, <laughs> I don't want to, to racing today. Yes, it's a hard track, but uh, it's different and it's good. <laughs> Short track is normally, you know, not my strength and, you know, I'm just always fighting for the front row at, at best. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. This is like a... It's a short cross-country race with that long climb and um, I knew it was going to be people having explosions and I had to be careful I didn't have one too. But, yeah, I'm super happy with that. Another fantastic ride and convincing win for Luana Le Comte, who has firmly established herself as one of the very best complete female riders on the circuit in such a short space of time. Le Comte extends her lead in the overall World Cup, 200 points clear of Hayley Battenline in second, who could only manage fifth here in Liagang today. Well, what an incredible race that was. Loana Lecomte proving once again why she really is the complete rider in her first short track win of her career. And of course, so great to see Beck McConnell and Yolanda Neff up on that podium as well. But now it's all about the men's. And the big story coming into the week is that Matthew van der Poel and Todd Pickcock, as well as Henrik Avancini, are not going to be taking part in the next couple of World Cups. Hoping to see Tom back in Leger if he comes back from injury. So it means that amongst this field of riders, only two have ever won a World Cup, Nino Scherter and Gerhardo Ajoa. But of course, they are not the only two who want it. Short track number three then is underway. Oh, and Scherter, big problem, yes. With Nino Scherter finding himself at the back, Anton Cooper set the pace as he led the field into the first climb. The Kiwi driving the charge ahead of the French trio, Titoin Carod, Saru and Koretsky. Unfamiliar territory for the European champion Scherter, chasing from behind after his calamitous start. Let's have a look, see if, look at the number two bike here. Oh, yep, slipped off his pedal. Back at the front, Matthias Flukiger had taken the lead, chased by Cooper. But it wasn't long before Andre Sink took the initiative, climbing the ranks and leaving Flukiger behind. By lap four, Sink established himself out front, but the field were closely bunched together. Before long, both men extended their lead and the remaining field left in their dust. With the two leaders in cruise control, the gap was ever increasing. And as they entered the final lap, it was Saru, Milan Bada and Cooper who were fighting for the remaining podium spots. Oh, and 
Left sink attacking and Flukiger looking like he can go with him. And Flukiger takes the lead. Flukiger found another gear and Sink just couldn't go with him. The Swiss about to secure his first ever short track win. Matthias Flukiger does it in the Austrian Alps. Sink delighted with second place. Varda in third and Saru and Cooper in fourth and fifth, respectively. I didn't expect it, so uh, I like more the longer distance than normal cross country. But I would say that this track here suits me pretty good, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this first uh, short track win. Matthias Flukiger wins in Liagang with riders from 10 different nations in the top 10. In the overall, the absent Matthew van Paul still leads, with Flukiger moving into second and Koretsky in third. Schurter, after finishing 29th on the day, is seventh overall. Congratulations, Matthias Flukiger, Andre Sink, and Milan Vada on their impressive performances tonight. Of course, it's not over yet, and we go again on Sunday. It's the Olympic distance, and all the points are going to matter. Live here on Red Bull TV, make sure you join us for all the action.